What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we were doing some bounty hunting here in New Sing, which we may end up doing, or we're, wait, are we in New Sing or are we in Call? I can't remember. Either way, uh, we were doing some bounty hunting, I think it was here. So what I think we're going to do today is start things off with a couple of missions, because as you can see, I have a Federal Navy Courier job here, uh, which should bring us up a rank from Cadet to... I don't really remember offhand what the next rank is, but we'll find out in a second. Now, all these missions go to Lebedev, so we're in luck, because I've got a couple of these missions here as well. Now, Cargo Unique... Additional. So I think they're going to give me the cargo. They did. Perfect. Okay, and then there's three of just the boom data. Oh, one's we are a, or Wyro. So we're just going to go with these two. Even though they're Imperial, I don't care. It's like I'm already going there. I might as well raise their rank too. Oddly enough, we don't have a restock option here. So, yeah. I'll probably have to pick up some more ammo on the way. Uh, what do we got here? Delivery to units. With the money you generously donated, we completed production of the Uranonite, which now sits in your hold. Wait, I donated money? Whoops. We are most appreciative that you're able to deliver the two units. Blah, 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 blah. Fine. Tip off. Oh, and I found these. These were at the end of the last episode, actually. I don't know if they're still active or not, but I'm getting the- I got these, like, tips. Um, this one needs to be on the down low. We've got a lead on some high-value data. This is the kind of stuff that powerful people don't want out in the open. If you can recover it, maybe we can put it to good use, if you know what I mean. Get down on Torno 3 in the Torno system. You'll need to navigate to lat latitude, longitude. Once there, you'll need an encryption key to fully access the data core. Lucky for you, I've taken the liberty of adding that to your ship's system. It's likely someone is already there. They won't be invincible, but be prepared, eh? Remember, someone might already be on their way, so you could have competition, Commander. Expires now, this is the interesting thing. It says expires on 5-6, but I'm wondering if that's reversed and it's actually June 6th? or June 5th, and not May 6th. As you can see down here, um, down towards my right panel, it says 29th of May, 33.03. Uh, so it's putting the day in front of the month, which is kind of odd to me anyway, but I'm thinking that's the same thing because I still have this here. So this is June, and I think this is the same kind of deal. One of our associates intercepted a part of a data packet. We want the rest of it. If you can get there before anyone can secure the data point, maybe you can turn a profit from any data you recovered. You will find the site in the Naguna system on Naguna 1. These coordinates will get you there. We've taken the liberty of uploading an encryption key, kind of the same bit. M might be a warm reception waiting for you. Be careful, be as quick as you can. There's no guarantee someone will beat you to the chase. So I've never had these come up before, and I'm a little intrigued by them, but I really want to make sure that I get my promotion first. So we're going to head over to Col the coal system and go from there and do our, our missions and stuff like that. And then I'm going to look up on the galaxy map where those systems are and see if that's something worth pursuing or if we want to just jump over to bounty hunting. Um, so let me run over there and we'll see what happens after that. Alright, so here we are at Lebedev, so let's go ahead, I had a time-sensitive bonus, so let's go ahead and try and finish, um, which one of these is it? There it is, Federal Navy. Uh oh, what did they give me? Cargo hull, oh, modular terminals. Excess cargo, oh, so I probably should have done the other one first, oh well. Um... So let's deliver these. Just fine. Our uh, relationship with them is really high now, which is awesome. At least that faction... Reputation. Superpower reputation. Yeah, so it was the reputation of that 
uh, federal faction or whatever was really high. Okay, boom data, boom data, boom data. That's all Imperial though. Nothing available for them. Uh, we'll refuel and restock while we're here, because apparently that's not available at Neosing. Now, uh, an ally like you is welcome here. Doc okay, blah blah blah, that's just the message thing. Promotion to midshipman. Ah, okay. So I'm a midshipman in the federal uh, ranks now. Uh, let's check here. What are we at? So I'm 75% through midshipman. I'm not 100% sure how far away I am. From I think I had to be an ensign. I think, if my memory serves, to do the gunship part. So I'm not really sure how that works as far as I'm not I looked it up once um but I don't remember how far, how many ranks in between there there are Torno and Naguna Oh I didn't mean to crap I didn't mean to delete those I was trying to back out oh well Um so let me check and see where these systems actually are because I don't know how far out they are, or if any of this is even worth really looking into. Uh, the one was Naguna? Oh goodness. Oh my. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh crap. Like I said before, I think my controls were still in shambles from when I... I've somehow managed to reset my controls, so I don't think I have controller setups for... Where is this thing? It said it found it, and it didn't find it. Naguna... That's not... I'm looking for, like, just the Naguna system. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's weird! There's, like, nothing there! Ooh, that was... That's strange. How do I strafe, anyway? Ah, both of them. Here we go. Um... Okay, seriously, where did it go, though? Because it keeps coming up. Like, you found it, but then there's... Nothing there. That's really weird. That's kind of funky. Alright, what was the other one? Let's see if it's any... Trono? Or... Torno? I don't remember what it was. Come on. Uh... Corner? Was that it? There it is. They're so far away, though. I'm mainly just curious because I've never had that option before. Like, it's never come up and was like, hey, there's a there's something intriguing over here that kind of has me intrigued, but I honestly don't really want to leave where I am uh, because I've got a lot going for me here. There's a lot of easy rep missions, there's a lot of um, hunting grounds for bounty hunting that still contributes to all that stuff, so I'm like, I'm really not interested in leaving. Uh, this is going to be where we end up going back to. We have 23 hours to do these, so I'm just going to accept all of these. I don't have any other missions there, so what we're going to do now is head back to Neosing. Um, and instead of turning those in, we're just going to go do some bounty hunting, I think. Um, and then we will turn our stuff in at the end of the episode when we decide to go back and dock at the, uh, um, yeah, at the end of the episode. So let me get back over into New Sing, and we will go from there. Okay, so I don't know if this spawn is a great place or not, or a great one or not, but we do have a clipper, so we're going to take them on really quick. Yeah, that's right. You use that chaff, and I'm just going to stay right on your back, if I can help it, and let my laser fly. Anyway. Woo! Here you go. Here you go, missiles. Or something like that. Oh crap. Oh crap. I really gotta stop running into people. 
Although, everybody was telling me in the last episode that, uh, or the episode before one of those, I forget which one it was, somebody had mentioned, though, that uh, um, the gunships are tough enough little boogers that running, ramming people actually is a viable strategy, and I was like, really now? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so one down. Uh, what do we got? Diamondback Scout. I have a feeling he's not actually worth anything. Oh, he is wanted. Okay. Let's see how much we're talking about. 58? Eh, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, how well this spawn area actually was. Um, mainly because, um, whoa, I didn't know they had that. Mainly because, though, a lot of the ships that were around me didn't really seem all that large. It was like adders and, um, different asp ships and stuff like that. Um, but... This is kind of fighting completely different than... I don't normally fight these little guys. Oh, I'm not even on my heavier... or fire computer. Come on, get around him. I still stand by, I really don't like fighting little ships. They're just harder to... to hit. You spend more time trying to fly around them than you do actually doing damage, and it's kind of irritating. And then when they use chaff, it gets annoying. It's okay. Ooh, you're in a bad spot there, buddy. I do always love when they do that... You know, it's like the target cargo dropped. I'm like, I'm not after their cargo. I want their bounty. No, I don't think I want you having shields. Sorry. But see, this is why I don't like little ships. I think I killed the clipper by now already. Because I can actually sit on them and just do damage. And the little ones, you gotta always get around on them. Because they always seem to navigate around you. So you're just doing little bursts of damage, but you're not really, you know, you're not really doing anything to them half the time. Especially like now when you uh, kill their power plant and don't realize it. Yeah, there's really no need to waste ammo on that. <laughs> Okay, now, where am I headed? Kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, there's a system authority vessel around here. Oh, there's a few blips. Let's head back towards them. What do we got? Adder. See, that's what I meant. Like, I'm not really sure about this spawn zone because there doesn't seem to actually be... Oh, wait, there's a clipper. Okay, so maybe we're doing pretty good. I honestly don't care as long as when I'm ready for another target there's something for me to find. I just don't like having to wait around and look for one all the time. I almost did it again. I started targeting them and stuff and didn't really confirm that they were wanted. I always do that. It's a bad habit. A really, really bad habit. Alright, buddy. Let's get you locked on and scanned. Okay. I'm just gonna take my time getting around behind him because it's letting my shields come back a little bit, so... Yep, nothing to see here. Nothing going on. That's right. 
I'm sorry, but if I was, like, playing online and it was actually people or whatever, or if I was a pirate or something, if I saw a fertile ants, I would not just be ignoring it, especially when I have a bounty. You know? It's kind of one of those, like, hmm... That just seems like a ship that could be a problem for me. Oh! There went the federal guy. So much for his backup. toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Actually, he probably does, because he is, he is doing work on my shields. The Clipper was honestly a fun ship, and it did a lot of damage and stuff. It just, it was a little bit more squishy. Like, it's, sh oh man, I'm gonna lose my shields to this guy. Come on, guys, get him distracted. Oh, wait, you know what? I can do that, too. I really hate how often chaff is used. It's very annoying. No, oh, that's not good. I really need to stay behind him. I'm gonna keep after this guy with my shields down. Oh, I got him! Nice! Don't you hit me! You're dead! Don't you hit me! Thank you. Okay. Whew! Right, let's put everything into shields for a minute. Ooh, a python and a fertile ants. Okay. I definitely want my shields back for either of them, unless I just kind of float around and let them soften them up for me. Which is a completely legitimate strategy. Oh, he has wanted. I gotta find out which, how, for how much though, like which one's worth more. 198. That's a good one. Where, wait, where'd the where'd the Ferdy go? Dang it. He got away. Alright. Well. Kind of like to monitor this guy a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably monitor him and then when my shields come back and or if uh, things take a turn to where I really don't have to do much to take him out, uh, then I'll come back. Okay, so I've actually changed my mind, uh, cause the Fertile Ants was actually worth a bit more, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, he's worth a little bit more after I scanned him. So, we're gonna, we're gonna go after him, I think. I'm still kind of, my shields are back, but I'm still kind of trying to get in a good spot to where, while he's dealing with whoever his target is here, he won't really be in a good spot to counter me, which seems about right there, actually. If I can cut his shields down really quick, it shouldn't take me long to deal with him, but I don't want him getting around on me at the moment. Just, I just got my shields back. Don't you take my shields. Oof. He's gonna take my shields. Oh, they're reloading. Crap. I'm going nose to nose with him while I'm reloading. That's not smart. Yeah, I'm really kind of disappointed in my shields a little bit. I was hoping they would hold a little bit stronger, but um, really I end up playing to the Fertile Lance's speed and maneuverability because it's really not all that... the shields and stuff really are not all that durable, unfortunately. I mean, yes, they're better than something like a Sidewinder or whatever, But overall, I'm still not real, real thrilled with their overall performance of shield strength and whatnot. Uh, 
um, I wonder if they took that python out yet. Okay, um, the cobra, oh, he's actually not wanted, oh wait, yes he is. Bounty, 55. Me, if I can take the time, let's see if I can find that python somewhere, because we kind of went out here into no man's land over here. Um, I don't really see them anywhere, and I don't see a bunch of contacts or anything. Because there's a bunch, there's like three or four of the uh, federal assault ships, um, or federal authority vessels, whatever they were called, kind of hanging out around that python. I'd actually be surprised if they hadn't taken him out already. Because I that took a little longer than I was expecting to deal with that uh, Ferdy. So let me poke around a little bit and see if I can't track him down. Alrighty, so I managed to. Ooh, I'm gonna lose him in a second here if I don't do something. No, 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 no. Fire! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Wait, who's attacking me? What the? Okay, I got two cobras on me for no apparent reason. Ow! Alright, I don't like these guys. I hate small ships! I've said this before. You can all stop if you just give me one ton of modular terminal. Oh, they're actually tracking what I have. That's interesting. That's kind of new. That's not happening. Okay, this is not good. I'm gonna get killed by two frickin' vipers because of these- their stupid little- Really? See, this is what I don't like about the Fertile Ants, is like, once your shields die, they can kind of just tear you up. Which isn't really that fair. Oh, there we go. There's one. I mean, I guess it's better than- it's still better than something like the Sidewinders and all the other small- like that, I just ripped that Viper apart. So I mean, it's not like it doesn't have its strengths, but I guess, I don't know, it's just one of those- I still- since it's a higher tier, when you go up against Vipers and Cobras and things, I kind of just feel like you should just- I don't know. I think it's because, essentially, if you were comparing this to other RPGs, the Fertile Ants would be like... Oh, come on. You're gonna be kidding me right now. Um, I guess it would be considered like the DPS, not the tank kind of thing. Like, it's able to dish out damage, but it's not really all that wonderful at taking it. Either that or I'm just not a good pilot. Uh, which is always a possibility. Come on, die already. Woo! That was close. Look at that, my windshield's cracked. I'm sorry, but out in space is the worst place ever to get a cracked windshield. Actually, that those cracks look kind of funky. Like they're in weird spots. Maybe it's just me, but they just kind of kind of seem weird in their location. Um, well... I may end up kind of cutting this episode a little bit short, only because I don't really want to risk doing a whole lot more fighting stuff, unless I can find somebody that these feds end up just taking on really quick. Um... Yeah, I do have my shields up. Maybe we could manage it. I don't like I don't like running a beat up ship though. It always makes me nervous. And there's nothing really here worth going after at the moment. Who is this? Butch. Oh, it's the Asp Explorer. Where's he at? Oh, there you are. I mean, he's obviously gonna be wanted. He was scanning me. Oh, he's part of a wing, though. So I might just gank him. See if I can 
let them deal with him for the most part, because I really don't want to engage in too much combat stuff at this point with uh with my ship in its current condition. It's not uh, it's not doing too hot. I mean, our shields are up, so that's good. But as we all saw, even a viper or a cobra can take down my shields pretty quick if I'm in direct combat. I think that's the biggest thing: the speed and maneuverability of the. Um, plus the weapon loadout and stuff just makes the Fertilance uh, a high damage, but it's, at least in my opinion, in the way I've played the game and all that kind of stuff, it seems kind of like a glass cannon to me, where it does a lot of damage, but you have to kind of stay out of the line of fire. If you actually... Oh, come on, fire! Why won't my laser fire? That's not going to give it to me. Oh, it did! <laughs> well, that was... cool. I don't know who his buddy was, though. Oh, we got a drop ship. Mm. There's still another member of the wing out there. Oh, he's a three-man team? Ugh. Oh, with a python! It's two pythons and a fed... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, yeah, I don't know about all that. This is going to be one of those, I might just jump in if these guys get in a, in a tangle. But I am not starting anything with these three. I mean, it looks like they're going after the... the no, no, that's somebody else, isn't it? Yeah, they're fighting under us. I mean, I can't see them not getting attacked here, right? There's a lot of federal ship. There we go. Now they're engaged. All right. Now we start picking our targets. I'm thinking the Fed I should have things into my shields at the moment. Let them come back stronger. Uh, who's worth more? 148. 114 and 116. So yeah, the federal ship is the is the t is the higher mark of the two. But nobody's attacking him though. Kind of need them to go after him. His shields are almost down. Let's go for the python. This is a really ill-advised idea, though, in my opinion. I'm not really sure I should be doing this. I'm honestly just being a little greedy at the moment. I have more time on the clock than I do shields and hull integrity. Oh, crap! I need to switch my setup. Alright, one down. Shields. Where's he at? His hull's at 57. Somehow they're not aggroed on me, which is great. Whoa, wait, where'd he go? That was weird. He was right in front of me, and then it just dropped. Alright, let's light him up. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't want your full attention. And I don't know, by the way, I'm kind of just talking and rambling as I'm shooting and stuff, but I don't know if any of the stuff if I'm saying about my ship and stuff is actually accurate, or if it's just because I'm set up incorrectly or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're one of those players that's like, no, my, uh, you know, my my Ferdy can, can tank or something. That's that's probably just because I'm not doing it right. It's probably not because they actually can't do it. But in my experience, they seem a little bit more glass cannony. Um, but on that note, I think we're not going to push our luck anymore than we already have. So I'm going to head back over to Neosing and see if we can't repair ourselves and get um, the rest of these uh, missions turned in. Alrighty, so here we are back at Gorb 
Grabatko, Grabatko Terminal. I always have a hard time pronouncing some of these names. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we definitely want to repair. We definitely want to refuel. Apparently we can't restock though. That's I find that odd. Alright, so the missions we had were all... Um, oh. Wait a minute, I thought those were all um, Imperial. These say, these say they're Federation. That's weird. Must have been from an Imperial faction to a... Uh... Yeah, it is. Okay. It was from an Imperial faction to a Federation faction. That's weird. I didn't think they got along. Uh, donate... Donate, 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 donate. Okay, that's Imperial, though. I'm not super worried about that. These three I'm going to go ahead and do. I mean, they're not really a lot of credits, and it's all Fed stuff, so... Why not? Yeah, so it's the not the Superpower Reputation, which is the Federa Federation. It's the um, Social New Sing League that I'm... Like, super, super tight with now. Um, because you can see the thing's almost all the way over, like it doesn't know where else to go now. Alright, so that's cool. Alright, so where does that put us at? Ooh, we have a message. Friend's reputation changed. Okay. Uh, raised to cordial. Cordial, are you kidding me? Wrong button. Too many times. Uh, what are we at now? 81% of midshipmen. So, oh, and I didn't claim my bounties. What a dum-dum. Uh, redeem my 839 credits worth of bounties. Oh, 839,000. Let's be honest. Okay. Federation reputation change. Thanks to your dedicated service, you are considered an ally of the Federation. We hope that you will continue to support blah 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 blah. Jolly good. Okay, what does that put us at? Still at 81, but our overall friendliness with the Federation has come up, so that's cool. Alright, so on that note, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.